Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can get the Vortex Mod Manager for Nexus Mods working with Stalker 2 on PC. And I'm kind of allowing for the fact that you've probably already installed some mods for Stalker 2, so you, so you know how to do it manually. Um, but the beauty of using the Vortex Mod Manager, it enables you to do things automatically in terms of updating mods, um, it makes it much easier to activate and deactivate mods as well. So if you have clashes between mods where they're interfering with each other, you can turn them on or off really, really quick. So let me take a let me take a step backwards first, actually. So you've got the site nexusmods.com, and I'll put a link to the Stalker 2 mods in it. And on this uh, site, you can download mods for Stalker 2. Um, and the way that we've in the way that we have been installing them is we've been installing them manually which means that we've been going to the files for the mod we want and we've been doing a manual download and then what we've been doing is if you've been following my videos what i've been doing is i have a separate stalker 2 modding um, folder and then i create a folder for that and i put the uh, the pack in there and then we copy the dot pack file and then we, we go over to the mods folder um, in our stalker 2 uh, install um, if there hasn't been if, if there isn't a mods folder we create it we go in there and we copy the dot pack file into here so in fact probably your mod file would look something like that with lots of dot packs like that um, and then we would fire up the game and we would see whether it would work um, unfortunately though what can happen is the mods that we have at the moment lots of them can interfere with each other and might not work so the process of uninstalling them so copying them out of the mods folder um, and then trying another one it can be a bit long-winded now the beauty of the vortex mod manager is that when you do a vortex download to uh, to your computer it will add the mods to your game file your game profile and what you can do and if i just show you now how it works you'll probably kind of understand it so if we look at my mods folder for stalker 2 um, which in my case is installed on E, so it's E, Xbox Games, Stalker 2, Heart Chernobyl, Content, Stalker 2, Contact Packs, and then Squiggle Mods. If we look at that, so if you take like the longer sprinting mod that I've got installed there, so it's in its own folder, and there's there's the packs there. But let's say that that didn't work. Something happened where another mod was interfering with it. We had, we had a clash between the mods. The beauty with the Vortex Mod Manager is that I can just click on here and go disabled and then it will do a couple of things and then if we go back into the mods folder we can see it's gone so it's super quick to change what mod mod you've got working and then I can just go uh, enabled so let's say for example there's an update to the game um, and uh, one of the mods stops working say Grox modular mutants health because been I can just disable it like that and then if we then go back to the mods folder, it's gone. So that, that that's really good as well. The next thing is that it will automatically update your Vortex mods as well. <laughs> so when there's an update, it's gonna download them. And it'll do uh, good things like, if it, if it thinks there's a problem, it'll sort that out for you as well. So look, maybe you should do this. Of course, you've, your first port of call should always be, when it, whenever you're installing a mod, is you should always have a really good look at the description of the mod first and then you should have a really good look at the post as well to see what problems are having so vortex in and of itself is really really good now when you come to watch this video i'm recording this video on the 5th of december 2024 um if you in in the sort of next few weeks it could be that Vortex gets official Stalker 2 support so what that means is when you search for a game here um, and I'll put a link to download Vortex in the description below this video. If when you search for Stalker here, um, it will come up. Now at the moment it doesn't, so we've got to use a mod to install it as well. When that happens, you won't have to do the following bit. You'll just be able to find the game, and then you'll be able to manage it. And then all you do, say for example, the two managed games I've got at the moment are Cyberpunk and Stalker 2. So if I click on Cyberpunk... Um, it goes over to cyberpunk and then i can go to my mods for cyberpunk and we can see what i've got installed but if we go back to games now and i click on stalker so it's switching over to my stalker uh, install so then i can click on mods and there we go there's there's 
there's my stalker mods that, that are there as well so really nice and easy way of doing things and i would highly recommend to everybody always remember the less mods the better because more mods means um, less stability for your game and try and keep things simple you know don't install hundreds of mods and then jump into the game and check to see if it works just have a few mods and see if it works and, and build it up that way so how do you get this working right so at the moment what we've got to do we've got to use a mod um, it's the stalker 2 heart of chernobyl vortex extension all right but don't worry about that <laughs> straight away um, and have a good read of the instructions underneath and have a good read of the posts what they don't really include is how how you add this to vortex very well but i'm, I'm going to share to do that um, so what you do is you click on the files and you uh, you could click on mod manager download that might work um, but if you click on the manual download button so you click on that and then it will download to your downloads folder if you then copy that and I highly recommend again you you have a folder on your PC dedicated to uh, having um, some of your mods your stalker 2 mods here and so I've created a vortex extension uh, folder there so if I go into there and you paste in there these are the files the xx index info.json merger and stalker 2 hard novel they're just two little, they're basically pictures there and this info.json and the index what they do is they're giving vortex the instructions about uh, your your game about stalker 2 you know telling it where the mods should be installed and and some other stuff now once we've got those files what you need to do then is you need to go to the plugins folder for vortex and it will probably be in something like your c drive users your username app data roaming vortex and then plugins and you'll see this and then what you do is you just go right click new create a new folder and i've called it vortex extension stalker 2 i go in there and those files that we downloaded like that these ones we just click these right click copy those go over to uh, here and your stalker 2 will be empty and you right click and you paste that and that that will then be there so when you fire at vortex again when you go to games you should be able to search for stalker just search for s basically and it should come up and then you can click on it and then you can then to start uh, start to manage the mods now when you first click on it it may come up with some errors and it will say things like um it could be that um your mod install folder isn't the same as your game folder so in my case my stalker is installed on my e drive and um vortex will download the mods to the c drive and it might say well it, it's the wrong it's the wrong drive but it's very good it will say well can i suggest the fix for you and you say yes and you just follow it and it'll say well why don't we change this to e if that's the case and it changes it to e that way um so then it will go right do this do this do this and uh, it will then you can then start to use it now what if you've previously been installing mods manually what i recommend you do is Get rid of all the mods you've installed manually so cut them out of your mods folder and then create like a mods backup folder and paste them all in there you, you can kind of see um, what i've done there and, and then what you need to do is you go back to uh, vortex uh, go back to nexus mods sorry and then just go through and just re-download the mods now most mods you'll find will have mod manager download links so when vortex is running you just click on mod manager download and you download that vortex will recognize it and it will put the mod into your into your folder if it hasn't though so some things say will have a manual download on them so there's so at the moment there's no option to to, to to put it into vortex but it's really easy to put in all you need to do is you click on manual download download the file Let's just open up vortex there and then you need download you'll find it so which one was it so it's increased melee range isn't it so increased melee range so all you do is you would just click and drag that i'm not going to do it completely but just click and drag that into vortex and then drop it here 
and Vortex will recognize the fact that it's a mod and it'll go boop, boop, and it'll put it into the, the section here ready to go um, sometimes you'll get some suggestions up here I've had some suggestions about about using the simple mod manager for Vortex but it tries to, it tells you to download this actually when you first fire it up and the idea with the simple mod manager mod merger is that um, if there's mods that conflict in other words if there are um, parameters that mods are trying both trying to change in in two different mods and so there's a clash that will try and sort that out um, it didn't work for me when, when, I, when I tried to use it but these are early days remember it could be by the time you come to use it it does work for you um, and then what, what you tend to find is you just you would just go in and you just disable the mods that don't work an example of this would be something like the a life extended mod which also includes the longer days mod so if you had longer days you should deactivate deactivate that um, you may find them something like no or reduce weight for ammo that might clash with something like um, longer sprinting so again but you're going to see that when you're going to go into the, the game and the beauty of the, with stalker 2 at the moment anyway because we haven't got any of these massive mods that <laughs> that we're going to have um, over the next few mods a few few months that will introduce um, a whole raft of new things new structures new quests all that sort of things um, things aren't too complicated we can keep it fairly simple doing doing it like this remember if you got com get completely stuck just disable all the mods restart the game and go on from there always remember that you should um, have at least two copies of your save so when you save the game when you're playing it save it again in another slot just in case one of them becomes corrupted um, if you're using something like UE tools to bring up the uh, console so that you can spawn stuff in or teleport around sometimes it's a good idea to fire up the game use the the mod to spawn in the weapons you want or the things that you want or to move your character because they've got stuck somewhere and then save the game come out of it disable the mod and then restart so that you're always running the game on the minimum number of mods you need to get the experience you want because that will give you maximum stability so hopefully this has been useful i know some of this stuff can be a little bit complicated but once you've di dived in and you've given it a go it kind of becomes it becomes quite obvious um, but my final thing would be, you know, try and keep it simple um, and then things uh, don't tend to um, break. And uh, you, if they do, you can figure them out anyway. OK, so that's enough from me. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.